The lifespan of nuclear power plants and nuclear installations is not infinite. Sooner or later these installations are withdrawn from service. The other task of Belgo process, besides the processing of solid and liquid radioactive waste, both present and past, and the interim storage of conditioned material, is the dismantling and decontamination of old, redundant nuclear installations. This often concerns major works where the dismantling is on an industrial scale. Belgo Process has all the knowledge and experience required for large-scale works of this type. One example of the clearance of an installation from the past is the total dismantling and decontamination of the former reprocessing plant Eurochemic. This installation is on Belgo Process's site. Eurochemic began life in the 1950s as a European project for the reprocessing of nuclear fuel and was the forerunner of nuclear development in Europe. The project was finally closed down in 1986 following a ruling from the Belgian government. The building is being completely dismantled and decontaminated in stages. The first stage concerned mapping out the whole building and its installations and developing a work strategy that would respect both the planning and the cost of the dismantling project. While nowadays the dismantling of Eurochemic is carried out on an industrial scale, in preceding years the old technical equipment was removed professionally and purified from radioactive contamination. At present, all the passageways, corridors and empty areas are systematically being handled. Walls, floors and ceilings are being scraped off to remove the radioactive contamination from the walls. The strictest international safety norms are in force for the dismantling and demolition work. What will remain, once it has undergone a thorough treatment, is a totally clean infrastructure that can be demolished in the usual manner. While working in the cells of the former reprocessing plant, the operators wear special intervention clothing, composed of various protective layers. Safety officers keep a close watch on them, both during and after their work in the contaminated zone. The annual dosage impact from the operators with an average of 1 millisievert lies far below the legally applicable value of 20 millisievert. Furthermore, all of Belgo Process's workforce undergo constant retraining with a view to ensuring across the board prevention and safety. As a consequence, the industrial safety index is very favorable. Whatever remains of large metal parts in the former reprocessing plant is skillfully reduced using plasma burners and hydraulic scissors and removed from the processed cells. The larger concrete structures are reduced with the appropriate material, ranging from remote-controlled robots to giant sheet saws and pneumatic crushes. For all these works, commercially available techniques are converted to operate under nuclear conditions. An integrated care system guarantees both the safety of the workforce as well as the quality of the environment. One of the many examples is the fact that the building is always in under pressure. A huge battery of pre-filters and absolute filters furthermore guarantee that not a single particle of dust escapes into the environment. Protected by the appropriate safety clothing and masks, operators Tim and Guy replace the filters at regular intervals. The result is a zero impact on the surroundings.
The waste produced during dismantling is controlled for radioactive contamination piece by piece, square centimeter by square centimeter, and kilo by kilo. Then stored and finally decontaminated before being released. The aim is to recycle the material that is released during dismantling as far as possible. Thus, nowadays, we're able to release 95% of the removed material without stipulating any restrictions. Metal components are decontaminated via an abrasive blasting installation, released and, for instance, melted down again into raw material for new applications. Large concrete blocks are sawn into smaller components inside the building. These concrete blocks are then broken down into granules. Only after having undergone a representative sampling and analysis are they finally released and recycled in the road building sector. From an ecological point of view, this method of working offers the best and least polluting solution. In the case of small remnants, where for practical or economic reasons it's not worth decontaminating them any further, they're processed and decontaminated via the stream of combustible or compressible materials, and so end up in the interim storage area awaiting disposal.